And one day it occurred to me that my father was a better father in death than many fathers are in life. He left me an example of what a man is like. My father's name was Captain Harry G. Kramer. He was a captain in the U.S. Army Special Forces. In 1957, my father was in command of the very first U.S. Special Forces Detachment. They deployed to Vietnam in June of 1957, and my father was killed near Nha Trang, Vietnam, on October 21st, 1957. He was the first U.S. Army soldier to die in the Vietnam War. I can't really recall when I decided to follow in Dad's footsteps and be a soldier, and maybe I can't recall because maybe that's what I always intended to do. I wanted to be a paratrooper just like Dad, and so I went to the Airborne School at Fort Benning, Georgia. And after the Vietnam War, Dad's unit, the 1st Special Forces Group, had been disbanded. I volunteered several times to serve in Special Forces, um, but there were hardly any Special Forces units left. So my volunteer application was never accepted until there was a large expansion of the U.S. military underway and a refocus on the Pacific and Asia. And Dad's old unit, the 1st Special Forces Group, Airborne, um, was reactivated at Fort Lewis, Washington. And uh, a few months prior to activation, I got a call from the Pentagon saying, we need a signal captain for the 1st Special Forces Group to command all the communications troops uh, is your volunteer statement um, still valid? And I said, you tell me where to be when. So uh, in 1984, I stood in the ranks of the 1st Special Forces Group as Dad's old unit was reactivated. Share a story, there were one or two old sergeants who looked at me with my rank captain and my name tag, Kramer, said, are you Captain Kramer's son? And I said, yes, I am. And then after a moment, one of them would crack a smile and say, you'll be all right. And so. That felt really good, but it was like coming home to dad's unit.